One of the popular iPhone errors that can hinder you from using your iPhone is the iPhone stuck on Apple logo storage full issue. And this video will guide you through the troubleshooting process. Full memory space is the main cause of the iPhone storage full won't turn on issue. The best way to remove this type of error is by using an iOS system repair tool. Step 1. Download the correct application for Mac or Windows computers. Install and open the application on your computer and hit the iOS system recovery button. Step 2. Use a lighting cable to link the two devices. Allow the connection between the devices to be established by tapping the trust option when a trust this device message appears on your iPhone's display. Step 3. Initialize the repair process by hitting the start button and setting your iPhone to recovery mode. Step 4. Select the standard mode from the two options to repair the iPhone without deleting its data and hit confirm. Step 5. Now hit the repair option, and the application will fix the issue. Wait for a few minutes, and the problem will be permanently solved. One way of fixing this iPhone error is force restarting the gadget. Below are the steps for force restarting your iPhone 12 and 11. Step 1. Press your iPhone's volume up key for about 3 seconds and release it. Step 2. Press your iPhone's volume down key for about 3 seconds and release it. Step 3. Finally, press your iPhone's side key until the Apple logo is displayed on the device's screen. Step 4. The iPhone's screen will temporarily turn black during the shutting down process. Wait for the gadget to finish rebooting and clear up some memory space. Factory resetting your iPhone using iTunes quickly solves most iPhone errors. Step 1. Link your iPhone to the PC using a working lighting cord. Open the iTunes application on your PC and ensure that you are using an up-to-date iTunes application. Step 2. Hover over the menu on the computer screen's upper left corner and choose your iPhone. Step 3. Tap on the summary option on the left side of the computer screen. Then click the Restore iPhone option to reset your iPhone to its default setting. After that, you can set up your iPhone again and begin to use it normally. Another quick fix for this error is using the recovery mode. Step 1. Use a working lighting cord to link your iPhone to the PC and open the iTunes application. Step 2. Proceed by force restarting the iPhone. Step 3. Now the iTunes application will detect your iPhone's mode and display a message. Restore the iPhone by clicking the Restore button, and the error will disappear immediately.